Welcome back, little beans. Warning. The following ASMR is only aimed for beans who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blinkies, pop in your headphones, snack on some pockies, and enjoy this ASMR. <sighs> hey, Kilua, are there any more oranges in the barrel? No, looks like Tompa ate most of them. Oh. <laughs> it's fine. I know we have more back at home, so no worries. Yeah, true. But hey, the fellows are getting your birthday present set up. Maybe it's time for you to see it. Oh! Maybe it's a new fishing rod? Or, I don't know, maybe a nice coat? Or, maybe some cake? A cake doesn't sound too bad. Uh, not really, Gone. According to your father, it's something else. Oh, what is it? Put it down, Karapika. <clears throat> uh, oh, it's me, but as a statue. Uh, I'm not that buff. He made the artist work on this, but hey, don't worry. I got you something else other than that. Oh, really? <laughs> Happy birthday, bro. Oh. <gasps> it's a mermaid necklace! It's so beautiful, Kilua! <laughs> I knew you were fascinated by these creatures. Thought of going and just getting this for you. Thank you so much, Kilua! <laughs> oh. <laughs> no problem, Your Highness. I've never taken this off. I will admire it every day. Even if you ever see one. <laughs> Kilua, stop! <laughs> I mean, I don't mind actually seeing one, if they do exist. What would you do if you see one? Just capture it? I don't know. Maybe just admire it dearly. <laughs> Keep going. There's no such things as mermaids. Wow, the same person that says there's no such things as King Triton? You don't, you don't even go outside anymore, Kurapika. It's my duty to protect the young prince, Kilua. Yeah, yeah, sir, Kurapika, you're doing a really good job. Anyways, what should we do now, Gon? Hmm, maybe just see what's going on. Maybe we can do a little bit of dancing. Alright, good idea. <sighs> There's a lot of explaining for you, listener, because your brother is not going to like this. <laughs> Telling me to be quiet? I am the servant. I must report this. Oh, who is that good-looking one? I mean the tall blonde one. He seems kind of nice. But, oh my, Neptune. Mm, I like to make some crybabies with him. Wait, what? I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I'm gonna go back to Zoshi. Um, yeah. Goodbye! Whoopee! So, what's going on with Listener? Well, looks like she's gazing upon some human boy. However, I saw myself a nice, good-looking boy as well. Don't tell me you're falling for one. I don't think he'll ever come to me. I'm a crab! Yeah, you're right. Oh. What? What are you looking at? Those clouds don't look friendly. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, I don't think this is good. Um, Listener, you need to come back down here! Those clouds don't look that good! Uh, your highness. Yeah, Kurapika? I think we should go back. Why? Oh, no. Those are thunderstorms. Rain clouds. Oh, no. We must alert everyone. This isn't- this isn't good. I'll set the alarm. Everyone! Crew! We gotta turn back! Remain calm, everyone. We're just gonna go back, make sure that none of the storms hit us. Ugh! Ugh! Okay, this is... 
Is anyone in charge of the wheel? No one is. Where the hell is Tompa? Uh, let me do it. Uh, uh, oh man, I can feel the wind. We are so slowly going to the storm. This is not good. <gasps> Go! Look out! What? Your oh, whole no! Mess! Oh no, you fell down at sea. This is not good. We need to set out the boats to find him. I think it could not be my, I know their choice. Come on, man. Let's go down and see him find Gone. Come on, man. Let's do it. Oh, wow. The ship is really tearing up apart. Where's Listener? Wait a minute. It's that same boy she was looking at. What is she doing? She's saving him. Great. She saved the human from drowning. I think we should follow her to see where she's going. Looks like we have no other choice. Come on. What's going on over here? Well, it looks like Listener has saved a human. Oh. Well, that seems very sweet of you. Is he dead? I don't think so. Hmm. Well, I can hear his heart beating slowly. Maybe he's gaining back some consciousness. <laughs> Well, he's alive. Great. He's alive. He's breathing. Well, that's a miracle. Alright. Can we leave now, listener? He's alive. I don't know what she's doing right now. Hey, wait right there, Mr. Krabs. I think there's something going on here. What do you mean? What would I give to live where you are? What would I pay? To stay here beside you What would I do to see you Smiling at me Where would we walk? Where would we run? If we can stay all day in the sun Just you and me and I could be part of your world. Hey, yo, Kurapika, I found him! Really? Is he out there? There you are, Gone. <sighs> we thought we lost you. Uh, uh? Kiwa! Kurapika! <sighs> where, where is she? Huh? What do you mean, your highness? I... I heard a girl. She was singing. She must be my rescuer. She must have been the one that saved me from dying. Such a beautiful voice she has. I must find her. Ugh. Calm down, Gon. You, you must have woken up. Come on, let's take you back to the palace and... You know, you need to be cleaned up. Yeah, you stink like seawater. You're right. Alright, come on. Great! This is great! Listener is in love with a human! Oh, how can this day get any worse? I mean, maybe it's not that bad. He doesn't look like a threat to anyone. You don't know that, Sushi. Maybe he can be a threat. You don't know that. Oh my goodness, this has become a nightmare. Wait until Kite hears about this. Calm down, Mr. Krabs. Hey, it's Mr. Leorio to you! It's alright, Your Highness. You can walk. We got you. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I knew something starting right now. And you'll see Someday I'll be Part of your world I'm gonna go
to go back to the ocean. Yeah, I'll come with you. Hmm. <laughs> oh, what a miracle it is. Kite's little sister is in love with a human. A human prince. Oh, that actually got me an idea. How to steal the... <laughs> Izuka, Illumi, I have a little task for you, and you better not fail me. I need you to lure a listener here. Doesn't matter what day, just as long as you bring her here. I can make her wish come true. <laughs> <laughs> Sister, welcome back. Where have you been? Oh, I see. <laughs> Doing your pr princess's duties, I see. Well, that's good. Well, looks like you have the time. Breakfast is ready if you're hungry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for the flower. <laughs> it's quite beautiful. Why, thank you. <laughs> well, I think it's kind of obvious, brother. What do you mean, Komogi? <laughs> Listeners in love. <laughs> in love? Yeah. She wouldn't tell me, but it could be some lucky merman. Merman, you say? <laughs> well, I can't wait to meet the young man. This is seriously not good. A kite is not supposed to know this. Like, this- oh my god, this morning just went so bad. Pfft. Listener, stop doing that! Ugh. She's just playing loves me, loves me not, thinking that the prince likes her. He doesn't even know what she looks like! What I know is that she's a mystery. He doesn't need to know she's a mermaid. Listener, please. I- I- come on. You can't go up there again. Please. What happens if your brother knows again? Because he thinks... Come on, wh why can't you just listen to us for once? Uh, Leoria, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna make her show that the water is way better. Listener, listen to me. The human world, it's just a mess. Life under the sea is better than anything they got up there. <laughs> Seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Just wonderful things around you. What more is you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Up on the shore they work all day, out in the sun they slave away, while we devoted full time to floating under the sea. Down here all the fish is happy, as up through the waves they roll. The fish on the land they ain't happy, but they sat cozy in their bowl. But fish in the bowl is lucky, they haven't a worser fate. One day the boss gets hungry, guess who's gone beyond the plate? Oh no! Under the sea. Under the sea. Nobody beats us, fry us, eats us in fricasse. We want the land folks loves to cook. Under the sea we off the cook. We got no troubles, life is bubbles. Under the sea. Under the sea. Since life is sweeter, we got to be here naturally. Even the sturgeons and the ray, we get in the urge and start to play. We got the spirit, you got to hear it under the sea. Huh? Listener. Listener! Where? Zoshi! Where are you? Uh, I didn't even get to do the good part. 
Oreo. Oh, there you are. Komogi, what do you need? Uh, this actually is a word from, from the king. Um, it's something about listener, and he's really curious. Um, yeah, he wants to have a word with you. Oh no. He knows. Hmm. I wonder if he's a really nice guy. Better treat my sister like a princess like she's supposed to be. Hmm. Maybe that Jax. <laughs> he seems like a nice merman. Oh, Leorio, please come in. Yes, your majesty. Is there anything you need? Yes, it's about listener. I'm really curious. Um, curious about what? <laughs> I think we know what we're actually talking about, Leorio. About listener in love with a merman. Oh! Um, <clears throat> uh, you see, your, your majesty, um, uh, really? Because I would really love to meet him if you know who he is. Oh, um, uh, if you're not gonna tell me, you know there's gonna be consequences, and you do not want to disappoint me, Leorio. So, is the listener in love with the merman? If so, what's his name? I can't take it anymore! Listener's in love with a human that she saved from above! What? What about this human? Uh... Did I just say human? I mean merman. Um, <laughs> maybe it's that, uh, um, <laughs> I think I'm deaf right there. Um, did I just stutter a word? Take me to listener. <laughs> yes, your majesty. Yeah. Yeah, listener. Um, I know it takes a few guppies to work on this and a few mermen, but, uh, it appears... Uh, I know this seems kind of an early birthday gift, but here it is! <laughs> I'm glad you like the gift. Mm-hmm. It really does look a bit like him. I mean, I don't really know what he looks like. Oh, wait, I have. He seems like a good-looking fella. Now that you can cherish it any time you want. Uh, your Majesty! Uh, I'm gonna go hide! I'm sorry, listener. I tried to stop him. So, you disobeyed my rules, sister. Haven't I told you I forbid you to go back to the surface? Look what you've caused, sister. You could have been killed by those humans. I don't give a damn what you say, listener. Those humans are nothing but killers to all of us. They are the reason why so many mermaids are dying because of them. Why couldn't you listen to what I said after what happened to father? Why can't you listen to me for once? All I'm trying to do is protect you and not end up like father and mother. What? No. This can't happen, sister. He's a human, and you're a mermaid. Sister, I've had enough of this. If you are not going to listen to me or just follow my rules, I can't believe I'm doing this. I don't want you to get hurt and not end up like father and mother. I have no choice but to do this.
everything's ruined. Listener, please forgive me. Come on, Zoshi. We should leave Listener alone for a bit. Us. Hmm, Nagi Hirumi. We finally got her. Should we make our move? Quite. It appears she appears alone. We will make Palm very happy to bring her here. There, yes. Let's let her in. Yes. Yeah.